My honey baby has asked me to make her a case for her zither. This is her zither. This is a big piece of plywood, uh, eighth of an inch, pretty lightweight. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the top and the bottom for the case out of this plywood. I've marked off a piece here, 21 inches by 15 inches. I haven't cut it yet. I want to cut two square pieces. And then I'll make, basically what I'm going to be doing is making a box with a lid on it and hinges and a handle. And then I'll uh, pad the inside of the box. And I'm leaving a little extra room around the edges to get some padding in there. Um, about, a, about an inch on each side. I think that's going to work good. I, uh, fashioned this up the other day. This is the bottom of it. And I'm going to make me some sides, but I wanted something a little bit more substantial to attach the sides with. So I cut a piece of uh, tongue and groove board. I got some old boards over here. Uh, came out of the scrap pile that are tongue and groove. And what I did, I just took my table saw and I sliced off an edge. And I glued it on each side of this. I'm going to do the same thing across the bottom. And then I'll... Uh, attach my sideboards to that and the zither will sit down inside that. Now, this is going to be the top to it. I'll do the same thing with it and I'll make a top out of that and then I'll uh, fashion up a way to brace the edges and put some hinges on it and that should make her a nice little zither case. The first thing I need to do I guess is uh, crank up my deadly top table saw. I've got a table saw over here that's uh, I think it sawed the tip off of one finger and broke my thumb another time so it's a little bit deadly. But uh, I can set it up. I got space out the back door here, so I can uh, set this thing up and put this little bar on it. And uh, I'll use this old piece to get it set in the right place. And then I'll take that tongue and groove piece over there, and we'll just run that run that edge off of it, and then use it to do the rest of that box. Alrighty, I've got these all cut and I'll glue them up and the way that's going to work is there'll be a piece on the end and a piece on each side, piece on the end, same thing here, a little piece right there, a little piece right down there. That'll give me something nice and straight to attach my little side panels to. I'll probably come inside my side panels and put a little ridge around the inside of them and some little things down the side. My goal is to make this thing sturdy enough to hold that zither over there, but not so heavy that it's a pain to lug around. So I'm trying to keep it lightweight but still be quite sturdy. I'm going to glue these up. Okay, I got these things over here sitting. They're glued up. I'll let them get dry. I'll come back to them. Uh, I got two more ends to glue onto this one. And then uh, once they get dry, I can put some side pieces on there and uh, kind of go from there. I'll have to figure out the hinges and the uh, handles and the corners later on. I want to do something to reinforce the corners, so I'll give all that some thought as I'm going along. <music> 